Hey boys and girls, it's Mrs. Walker. For our lesson today, we're going to talk about how we can compare the area of different shapes by decomposing and then recomposing shapes. So our learning goal for today says, I can decompose and recompose shapes to compare areas. So decompose we know means to break apart something. Recompose just means to put it back together. Okay, so you'll need some materials. You'll need your problem set because we're going to do most of it together. You're going to need paper strips that measure 1 inch by 12 inches, which are similar looking like this. It looks more of like a ruler size. Then you're going to need 1 centimeter by 12 centimeters, which looks much smaller like this little piece. Okay, so go ahead um, and grab materials, a ruler, and your scissors and make those strips before you even begin our lesson because you're going to need those strips measured in those exact measurements to be able to complete this lesson. So pause the video, grab those materials, and then click play when you're ready to begin the lesson. Okay friends, let's jump in and get started. So you're going to need your first paper strip, which is the 1 inch by 12 inch strip. How tall is your strip of paper? So you're going to need your ruler and you're going to measure how tall your paper is. So you're going to take your ruler like this. And how tall is it, friends? If we look right here, it's one inch. Now yours is going to be probably a little bit closer than mine. Mine is off just a little bit because of the pictures. But it should be one inch. Okay, we're going to start at the edge of their strip across the top. And we're going to use your ruler to mark inches along the top. So you take your ruler just like this, and at every inch mark, you're going to draw a little line. So just like this. See, I'm at one inch, then two inch, and then I would fill the rest of those in. Then you're going to do the same thing across the bottom. So slide your ruler to the bottom, and then you're going to fill in one inch, two inch, three inch, all the way until you get to the very end. Okay, so go ahead and pause the video and do that now. Oh, actually, let me do one more step first. Then you're going to connect those lines. Okay, so go ahead and pause the video, draw your marks across the top and the bottom, connect the lines, and then click play when you're ready to continue. Okay, friends, make sure you pause a few more time, otherwise here we go. So now what we're going to do is talk about this strip that we have, and how many units make up your strip? Yeah, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. What shape are those units? Yeah, they're a square. What's the length of each side? Yeah, it's one inch. Remember from when we measured every inch, we drew a line and then connected them? What's the area of the paper strip in square units? Yeah, it's 12 square units. Because we have 12 square units. <laughs> All right, we call one of these squares, square units, is a square inch because each side measures, measures one inch. So the square inch measures one inch on all sides. What's the area of the paper strip in square units? Or in square inches? It would be 12 square inches or 12 square units in this case. Same thing. All right, so now cut your rectangle along the lines that you drew. So right here, for each one of those lines, you're going to cut that apart. And then you should end up with how many square inches? Yeah, 12. Okay, so go ahead and pause the video. Cut those up. Keep those 12 pieces of paper because we're going to do the next part of our lesson with those 12 pieces. Okay, friends, so here's what you should have now. If you need more time, make sure you click pause. All right, so you're going to rearrange all 12 squares into two equal rows. So remember, rows go side to side, so you need two equal rows with all of those 12 squares. So you're going to pause the video, do that, and then click play when you're ready for the next step. All right, friends, if you need more time, click pause. Otherwise, here's what you should have. You should have two rows of six, right, because two times six is 12. Now I want you to draw your rectangle in the chart for problem one on your problem set. So go ahead and pause the video, draw just what your rectangle looks like with those square units, and then click play when you're ready for the next step. Okay, friends. All right, so what's the area of the rectangle? 
it's 12 square inches. You can also abbreviate that by writing 12 SQ stands for square and IN stands for inches. All right, so let's look at another one. So we're going to do rectangle B on your problem set for number one. It says rearrange all 12 squares into three equal rows to make a new rectangle. So go ahead and pause the video. Three equal rows with all 12 of your squares. And then click, um, pause that, click, and then click play when you're ready to go over for the next step. Okay, friends. All right, so here's what I came up with. You should have three rows with four in each row. Draw your rectangle in the chart for rectangle B and then record the area too. So pause the video, do that, and then click play for the next step. All right, friends, awesome. Okay, so what's the area of the rectangle? It's 12 square inches. Or you can write it like that. Okay, so let's do rectangle C on your problem set. So rearrange all 12 squares into four equal rows to make a new rectangle. Then draw your rectangle on the chart and record the area too. So we're doing all three steps now together. So go ahead and pause the video. You're rearranging your 12 squares into four equal rows and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. Okay, friends, pause if you need more time. Otherwise, here we go. So you have four equal rows. You should have three in each row. What's the total area of the rectangle? Yeah, it's 12 square inches. Awesome. Okay, so here we have rectangle A, rectangle B, and rectangle C. How is it possible that these three different rectangles and our paper strip all have the same area? How's that possible, friends? Yeah, because they all still have 12 square inch units in each example. So it doesn't matter what it looks like, it's about how many and how much space it takes up and they all have 12 square inches. Pretty cool, huh? Okay friends, now let's look at paper strip two. You're gonna need your smaller one for this one. So let's look at it and see how tall is the paper strip. Let's measure that real quick. So take your ruler like this. Oh, this time remember we're measuring on this in or centimeter side and it's one centimeter. Okay, so we're gonna do the same thing we did the last time where we're going to line up our ruler. We're going to draw lines at each centimeter and then you'll connect them across the bottom. If it's easier, you can just draw the lines straight down since it's a smaller piece of paper. Okay, all right, so I'm going to do that way. Okay, so pause the video until it looks just like mine and then click play when you're ready for the next step. Okay, friends. So how many units make up your strip? 12, 12 square units. Now this unit is smaller. Our last unit we were measuring with was inches. Now we're measuring with centimeters. What's the area of the paper strip in square units? Yeah, just 12 square centimeters because each square is a centimeter. Now cut your rectangle and line them along, along the lines that you drew. So just like we did with the inches, cut them up into pieces. And then click play when you're ready for the next step. All right, here's what you should have, these 12 little itty bitty squares. Okay, so now for rectangle A on your problem set, I believe it's problem number two, you're going to rearrange all 12 squares into two equal rows and then you're going to draw your rectangle. Oh, there we go for problem two on your problem set. Okay, so go ahead and do that and then click play when you have rearranged them into two equal rows and draw it on your problem set. All right, friends, if you need more time, click pause. Otherwise, here we go. So there's my two equal rows. There are six in each row. What's the area of my rectangle, friends? 12 square centimeters. And this time we're in centimeters because our squares are centimeters on all four sides. Okay, let's look at rectangle B. We're gonna rearrange 12 squares into three equal rows to make a new rectangle. Then you're gonna draw your rectangle in the chart and record the area too. So all three steps for your 12 little centimeters right there. Okay, so pause and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. 
All right, friends, make sure you pause if you need more time. Otherwise, here we go. All right, so there are my three equal rows. You should have four in each row. You can check that because three times four is 12. What's the area of our rectangle? 12 square centimeters. You can also write it as the same way we did before with the SQ for square, but this time we would write CM for centimeters. All right, let's look at rectangle C. Okay, so rectangle C, you're gonna rearrange the 12 squares into four equal rows to make a new rectangle. Then you're gonna draw the rectangle in your chart for rectangle C, and you're going to record the area too. So pause the video, go ahead and do that, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, make sure you pause if you need more time, otherwise here we go. All right, so here's my rectangle, four rows, four equal rows. What's the area of the rectangle? That's 12 square centimeters. You can also write it like that too. All right, so friends, here we have rectangle A that we made, rectangle B, and rectangle C. Again, how is it possible that all three of these different rectangles and our centimeter paper strip have the same area? Yeah, because they're all made up of 12 square centimeter units. Okay, so because they're all made of the same thing, doesn't matter what the shape or rectangle looks like, they both take up the same amount of space. All right, bravo, friends. You guys did a great job composing or decomposing and then recomposing shapes to compare areas. So please head back on over to the module to see what you need to complete for your independent practice. As always, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'd be more than happy to help. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye, friends. Bye.